Hello. <laughs> Hi, um, my name is Lola. I don't know if I can say I'm a graphic designer just yet, but um, I do graphic design for a couple of local shops. Uh, and one of the things I do the most often is loyalty car design. So I'm going to share with you like a slightly sped up version of my loyalty car <laughs> design process, I guess. Um, and the first thing I wanted to say, jumping straight into it, um, is never, ever, ever skip this first step, which is inspiration. So for that, I guess you can just go around the local shops and get uh, some loyalty cards, ideally your competitors, um, to see what they're doing. But there's also options online. I recommend you going to a website called Behance.net. Um, it's basically just a portfolio website, so um, you'll get more professional outputs <laughs> uh, than if you look elsewhere. So here we can see some ideas. Uh, these are like coffee ones. They just have like a simple coffee. And this is a very good example of what not to do. Let me find a different one that has the same thing. So this one, for example, as well. This one has a dark background. Uh, you know, there's nothing wrong with dark backgrounds other than when you stamp it, it won't show. <laughs> this one as well, perfect example. She used pink on the background and you can really see the brand identity showing on the design of the loyalty card itself, but the circles where you're supposed to stamp are black. You won't be able to see the stamp on the loyalty card. They're actually digital <laughs> loyalty cards now, but this one is a good example. Um, she used the pink, but she left the circles white. So it's very easy for you to see. Because, you know, in the end of the day, design has to be practical and it has to be effective. If you're designing something for it just to be pretty, then it's not effective design. Um, and there was one that I found really cute. This one. Uh, so you can see here, it's very simple. Um, <laughs> the cute little stamps. Um, it's simple, it's got the logo on one side, it's got the bolts to be filled with the stamps, um, it's got the little terms and conditions at the top, fill up the 10 salad bows and get one free. Um, I think it would be missing like a phone number or um, an address or anything that you could possibly use to find them. Uh, but yeah, this one is a very good example of something that you should do. Keep it very simple. Design it according to the brand guidelines. So use the right colors, use the right fonts. You know, it has to be consistent for you to realize that something belongs to your place. And I think we can actually start designing. So let's go into Illustrator. If you don't have it yet, just get yourself a free trial um, and download Adobe Illustrator. It's It looks difficult, but once you get the hang of it, it's quite easy. Um, then we're going to go into create new and make sure that the width is 3.5 inches and the height is 2 inches. You know, it will depend. Obviously, when you go for your inspiration walk, <laughs> you see that some places do it differently than others. For example, this one is a folded loyalty card. So you got two spaces here, one for cold drinks, one for hot drinks, and you got more space at the back for information. This one is a very simple one, so it depends on what you're going to put into it, but this is just the general size, the standard size for a loyalty card. Make sure that the color mode is set to CMYK and raster effects 300 pixels per inch, and hit create. Um, this is your artboard or aka your paper, because when you send it to print, the print services will ask for two images. Obviously, one goes at the front, one goes at the back. We're going to go ahead and click on your artboard tool. Um, and then all you're going to do is hit Alt and hold and drag it down just like that. So now we have two artboards. One is for the front, one is for the back. So we're going to go and rename this one front and that one back. I'm going to open the brand guidelines so I have all of the um, colors and the fonts. Okay. 
and I forgot to get my external drive. It's just here. My best friend is always with me. Brand guidelines. So I have all the colors and let me actually copy this into here. Oh my god. So to resize things, you're just going to hit shift and hold and then drag these little white squares around the subject. Um, so, okay. Let's make a background. So click on this rectangle tool and just click and drag to create the background. We're going to change the color of it. This is the eyedropper tool. Um, of this background, I think I'm just gonna place this logo here. If you right click and then go arrange, bring to front, and then again hit shift, hold, and drag. Now we're gonna make sure that this is aligned to the center. Yep, perfect. I guess we're just gonna add a little text at the bottom with um, I don't know, maybe a little hashtag or username. So culture cafe. Um, let's make it the centered. And I'm not sure if this is too small. So what do you do when you want to see if it's too small? You go into view and go down to actual size. It's going to make the design exactly as it will be printed. So that was a little too small. Let's make it a little bit bigger. 10, I think it's too much. 9 is perfect. So let's do it again. View, actual size. And yeah, it's legible. But still clean. Um, now let's do the actual stamp side. So I created the background. Go down to the eyedropper tool. Change the color. Otherwise, you just double click here and select the color that you want. I'm using the eyedropper tool because I'm using the brand guidelines. Now all you have to do really is just um, decide whether you want a square or a circle to be your stamp field and then select it. So if you click and hold on the rectangle tool you're going to be able to see all the options as well. So if you want to circle you're going to click on the ellipse tool. If you want a star, you can go to the star tool, um, but I just, I'm just going to use a rectangle because, you know, the logo is a rectangle, so why not make the stamp fields a rectangle as well? So I think that's like a good size. I'm going to change the color, actually no, um, this is the stroke, so I'm going to change the color of the stroke to black. And, and then make the stroke larger. So I think that's a bit too much. I think two, maybe even one is fine. Now we need to duplicate this. So again, hit Alt, hold and drag. And then you can see the guides telling you whether it's straight or not. Again, hit Alt, click and drag. And then again, hit Alt, click and drag. Now what I'm going to do is, um, if you just move it a little bit closer, select all. So this one's already selected. Hit Shift, hold, and click on all of the frames. And click align and go to this one. Now the space in between the squares are like exactly the same. And now if you right click, oops, select all again, 
right click, select group. Now they're all like part of the same object and we're going to go into a line again, make sure it's centered. Now all you have to do, because we grouped these objects and now they're all pretty much like in the same object, you can just select anyone and all of them will be selected at once and then you're going to hit Alt again and drag. Now select both groups and align them. And now we're going to right click again Oops. and group. Let this work. Yes. Now it's a whole group. We can align the whole thing to the middle of the paper. And obviously this last square here, we want it to be the free copy. So let's just go in here, create a text field. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Click and drag and create a text field. And we're going to write free coffee. Let's change this font to this one. And then we're just going to make it smaller. Double click to select everything. Um, and because it's quite a colorful logo, I think it's too plain. I think it's really important to add that little bit of spice <laughs> to the loyalty cards. Obviously, they have to be quite eye-catching. Uh, so let's create a shape. So this is a pen tool. And how it works is you're going to... Let's practice here. So you click, and then you click again, and it makes a line. And then you click again, and it will make another line. And if you click and drag, it creates a curve. If you click and drag again, it creates a different curve. And if you want a straight line after the curve, you just click on this point and then boom, you've created a shape. <laughs> Okie dokie, so let's create a shape here on the corners because I think we should add some color. I'm gonna make it like a little blob almost. And now we go to the eyedropper tool, it selects the red. Um, and then we can duplicate this, hit Alt and drag, and then rotate to the bottom but I think this one we're gonna make it yellow let's do yellow and then here this specific frame double click to get into the group double click again because there's another group once only this frame is selected I think I'm gonna change the color of it to the blue no, go back, back, back. And maybe actually, because there's this frame in the logo, we could actually make this double click, double click again. Make this blue square have a stroke around it. So double click on the stroke, let's make it black. And then this is the stroke. Let's make it larger, larger, larger. Maybe that? I think that's cool. Actually, maybe I want to change the strip. I want to lower it a little bit more to make it a slightly more simple. So let's select, select, select. Yeah. I think it looks pretty cute. 
Um, it looks simple, but it's playful. Um, let's add actually some text at the top with the T's and C's. Um, make this, oops, go back. To go back, Command Z or Control Z on Windows. And hit Shift and also select the text. <laughs> Let's create another text section here with um, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, buy seven coffees and get the eighth and actually and the eighth is on us. A little happy face. Let's make sure this is according to our grand guidelines. And I think maybe we could actually make this slightly bigger. Yeah, that works. Mm -hmm. Go back. What's the name of this tool? I always forget. Selection tool. So simple and easy. I always forget. <laughs> Drag it to the middle. Actually, let's align it again as well. Make sure it's in the center. And yeah, maybe let's bring this back a little bit. Cool. Yeah, I like it. I think this is going to be our loyalty card. It doesn't take long to do. It's really fun. It's one of my favorite things to make because, you know, you can play around with things and um, I just find it really fun. Oh my god, we didn't change the font of this text. Let's change it. Ugh. It became a little bit smaller though. Let me check again. Actual size. Coach Cafe. I think I'll make it a little bit bigger. I like it. Yeah, so this is it. It's pretty simple. Um, Adobe Illustrator is probably going to be the hardest part. Uh, I always like to kind of sketch them before I go into Illustrator and start making it because it makes it easier. Um, you know, once you know what you want, it's easier to just go and do it rather than keep experimenting and having to change things. Um, let me see if I can actually mock it up um, on a business card mock up. I'm sure I have it somewhere. So this is how it looks mocked up and ready to print. I added some cute little stamps there. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's really simple and uh, quick. But I think the most important thing is to follow the brand guidelines, <laughs> always. <laughs> but have fun. And I will see you next time.